Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Say, a fellow Shining Mickey and Love Mickey player, and I am here to teach you little tips and tricks about the games, guide you through them, help you manage your diamonds, bring you information about the future events, and just have some fun. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell notification button to not miss any of the future uploads. This morning, I woke up to very exciting news from the Taiwanese server of Shining Mickey, and we are finally getting the recoloring system. I am super pumped about this. You have no idea. Did you see that hair and that beautiful pastel blue color and the mint green and the reddish hair and this one as well can be recolored. I am so excited about this. This is something that the players have been asking for a long time and we've finally been heard. Again, this is only the Chinese version of the game, not the global one yet, but hopefully they're going to bring it to the global soon as well because we will be wanting this. I love this purple hair so much and this mint green and this blue and wow. Tell me guys if you're also excited about this in the comments. I think that this feature is going to be available from tomorrow and if it's available from tomorrow i'm gonna make another video trying to showcase it if it can be unlocked right away so you can be looking forward to that as well this is where we can see how the feature itself is going to look like and it's pretty neat that there are a lot of colors that we can switch between so i am really excited about that so this is how the dyes are going to look like they're very pretty and the feature itself is going to be set in the same panel as the nail salon and the workshop and the intel hub and the academy and the store and everything so yeah cool but if there is one thing you guys may want to know it's that in this game unlike love nikki you're not actually gaining a new item when you recolor it so for example if you recolor the original hair into purple you're going to lose the original it's not lost forever though. If you want the original hair, you're gonna have to dye the purple one back to the original. So basically, you're just gonna have to dye the hairs back and forth into the colors that you want. Which is not anything new for me because even in Love Nikki, I couldn't bother crafting duplicates. So I would just recolor what I wanted back and forth. So this is not gonna be anything new for me. Now that we are done with those very exciting news about the recoloring feature, now we can move on to our next event on the global server, which is going to be a Wasteland one, aka my all-time favorite SSR event ever, so I am definitely going to be completing this, so we can look forward to me doing this event as well if you like watching people splurge their diamonds into pavilions. This is stunning. The recolor is absolutely everything. These eye contacts, they don't come with the suit, this is a VIP item, so yeah, sad. But I love everything the suit has to offer. We're going to take a look at the images, we're going to take a look at the reflection, and we're also going to go into the game and break the suit down. I don't have it, but we do have it in a gallery, so we can just check the pieces separately and see just what's going on there and whether or not the suit's actually worth it. But... I am loving this. Honestly, I cannot stop looking at it. I love everything Anubis related here. The recolor is my absolute favorite and Zoe is looking so good here. Let's go and let's check the HD art. Here we are with the artwork and I cannot stop looking at them. They are so beautiful. This is the original one. The ears are stunning. I love them so much and the hairstyle is also pretty cool. The dress sadly does not come separate from the little coat. It's just one piece. I was really hoping that they were going to be separate but sadly not. The little Anubis from the bow on the dress is so cute. I really wish this bow was a separate item again from the dress but I think they're coming all together. The earrings, they're also little Anubis and the ears which I am mega excited about. I cannot wait to have that item in game. Oh my gosh and of course the beautiful recolor this is so majestic looking the gentle colors the golden she's kind of looking like an angel almost we can also see the back of her dress and the beautiful egyptian art that's on it 
I really love this. And of course, the shoes and the socks. There's some pastel colors going on here. I didn't notice that until now. But it seems that everything on the suit has a pair of ears on it, which is, um, it's cool, I guess. And this is the reflection. Zoe is looking absolutely stunning as always. It's kind of hard to recognize her, to be honest. If I didn't know this was Zoe, I would think it was a completely new character. But yeah, it is our Zoe, the mercenary queen, and the attribute for this is cool. Here we are in the gallery, and let's just check this beauty out because, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. So she's got a couple of pieces. She's got nine pieces. And let's see. So the first one we're going to check out are the beautiful ears. We cannot see them completely because half of them are off screen, but they're beautiful. I am a little sad that the rest of the accessory, like the pearls, the gold and white ones, are actually together with the ears but still they still look beautiful and I don't think that they are actually going to be a problem when styling. Let's just move on to the beautiful hair which is absolutely stunning. Maybe not as much on its own like this but if you attach some head accessories it is going to look pretty nice and we can see down here at the bottom that it has beautiful accessories on it too. They're not visible here but they do exist. Moving on to these earrings, which are also Anubis, and they are so cute. I really want these, and I'm probably going to wear them quite a lot, even separately from this outfit. And this is the necklace. It is so-so, nothing really that spectacular, to be honest. I don't think I am personally ever going to be wearing it. But yeah, so you can also see... For yourself, you can see the power. So this is a cool attribute. So the strongest power that it's going to have is going to be the cool one. However, this may not be the same power for you. It's calculated here. Everything about my academy level and my memory stairway level and idea lab and everything. So the power here may not be identical to yours. But you can go and check for yourself and see just how strong the suit is for like every piece. But let's move on. So this is the dress, which like I said, sadly, it is not separate from the little coat. It would be so much better if it was, but it's not. And also, this suit would be like 50 times better if the bow was also separate because I imagine so many cool outfits that would look really amazing with this bow. Oh my god, I am so sad. But nonetheless, this is a very beautiful dress. That I cannot wait to have. Let's move on to the rest. This is a bracelet which honestly is very cute and I think it's gonna look really nice in the nail salon because it has these cool like earth looking colors so I will be excited to try that out. And of course the handheld item, the scepter, it's very beautiful, it's very Egyptian and I love it. And of course the socks. I'm not a big fan of these, to be honest, and I don't think I'll ever wear them. So they're just going to be rotting away in my wardrobe just because I don't really like them. And we have these shoes, which are interesting to say the least, but they are not my favorite. So the suit isn't too versatile, to be honest. But if you are into wasteland suits and into Egyptian mythology, you will love it like I do. I love Egyptian mythology. I love Anubis. I love wasteland suits so i cannot miss this one but it is not too versatile so if you cannot get it don't stress it's also not the strongest and if i'm correct and if our next ur event is actually going to be the chinese new year one this one right here then we're gonna get a ur suit that is cool attribute and a cool you are designer's reflection, so you won't really need to use the SSR ones as much if you can afford the UR one. But like I said, if you like this suit, then get it. It's not too versatile, so if you don't get it, you're not going to be missing out too much. But it's still stunning. Like I said, this is my absolute favorite SSR suit in the entire game. So I can't say too many negative things about it. It's really up to you for this one. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or future video idea suggestions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. See you in the next video.